Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Development in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. We are here in India at Sri Harikota, which is the location for the Sadish Dawan Space Center for ISRO. And, well, I've made the terrain for it as well. I had recently released the Kuru landscape. This is another one. Unfortunately, on the seaside, there's some terrain sticking out, some of the default terrain sticking out. I can't do anything about that unless I edit the RSS texture and uh, that will cause complications depending on which exact uh, terrains you use uh, if I try to do that for all of my terrains, so I'm not going to do that for now, uh, but we'll see. But let's try and launch something. So you can see uh, the level of the landscape is so that it's covering up the base of the space center and also the runway, uh, but not the building so much so they poke out. And the launch pad is right about where the second launch pad at the Sarish Dawan Space Center is. This is the one where they launched the uh, GSLV Mark III and such, and where they'll presumably be launching their first crewed mission. So here we are with the GSLV Mark III on the pad, and it's a little bit blurry at low levels, and this is the best quality that I can get. In fact, this terrain is better than the Kuru terrain because it doesn't have all the clouds on it. It's fairly crisp. Uh, but if we wanted to deal with that, one way would be to lower the terrain and you could go into the patch file and just set the height of the terrain lower so that the runway does pop up and, you know, the default space center terrain and the um, crawl away pops up as well. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, but I think one other possibility is just to not have the space center here at all and instead, for instance, use one of the other launch pads that we have. In order to get the Space Center to Sri Harikota, you need to go to the tracking station and click on the Sadashawan Space Center in India. But you can just leave the Space Center in Cape Canaveral or something and instead uh, use a spawn point, a universal spawn point, one of these, and also just place one of the many different uh, launch pads that are available with con uh, Kerbal Constructs and so, you know, for instance, if you wanted a launch pad, oh, well, we have to create a group first. So we would edit group, create a new group here, and then spawn launch pad. And then we could use that launch pad as a launch pad here. And then the, that launch pad would look crisp in this area. And then once we get to any height, it'll already look better. So that's another solution and probably the one I would choose. So yeah, I'm leaving it like this for now because of that. Otherwise, if uh, one risk when it comes to setting the terrain lower is that the default terrain, this stuff, starts poking through. Okay, anyway, so SAS is on, throttle is up, and we are launching. Uh, we'll just go to a 90 degree path out just to see what that looks like. If you do use the GSLV Mark III from my real rockets pack, do put separatrons on the boosters. And I don't have custom decouplers, it's just the regular decouplers, that's why. So yeah, as you can see, the train is already looking very good at this height. We do have to uh, sort of try to ignore that bit, but uh, there's enough of the terrain to manage that. It's heftier than the Kuru terrain because I wanted to include this entire lagoon. I actually contemplated uh, adding the Chennai, the city of Chennai down there, but that proved to be too much. That would be too big a download, I think. Or at least it would need to be a separate bit. But of course, once we get a certain distance away, it does stick out. As it would... Oh, we've got some staging errors here to have those pre-light. Okay, and then separate. Bearings. Sri Lanka visible in the distance now. It's possible this terrain should cover a sl smaller area. Oh, it's gone now. We're in space. No, I think that, I mean, we can see the sort of lagoon area there, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it should be a little bit smaller. It'll be automatically 
placed at the certain scale that we have, that maybe I should try a lower scale later on. Fortunately, with the Kuru scenery and the Sri Harikota scenery, uh, I've set the center point to the launch pad. I didn't do that for previous sceneries because I hadn't thought to do it like this. They were supposed to be Kerbal Constructs placed, in which case it was easier to have their center be their physical center rather than the center be the launch pad. So if you did want to rescale it, it's fairly easy. It's also in the patch file in the terrains folder for Sri Harikota. And you'll see the scale portion and right now it's set to 40, I think. And since the center of the model is at the launch pad, it should just scale around and you don't need to reposition it, I believe. But scaling down does mean that the default terrain is more likely to poke through. Okay, staging. Oh, so having it at this scale is probably generally a better option just if you want to get the cinematics. Otherwise you'll reach the edge of the terrain a little bit too quickly. Well, we are close to making orbit. Probably we should have gone on a more southerly trajectory. I'm sure they do. Uh, because we're crossing over land right now. Uh, but otherwise, uh, no big problems. And this is not the capacity for the launcher. Eight tons is under the capacity, so we weren't really pushing it or anything. And we are a long way off from the Sarishita 1 Space Center. But the goal of this was to check out the Space Center scenery. And I will put the link in the video description. It's to GitHub. And the link will have all the other terrains there as well. I just added this as a new zip to the existing release. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.